Yeah. Oh, yeah. We did a bit of a bass idea there. Feel good breakfast show. Sure. Yeah. Welcome back mm. to it. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying <laughs> this Wednesday morning with us. Um, big news made the rounds, of course, this week. Time magazine released their top 100 influential people in the world. Uh, of course, too much fanfare because Beyonce was on the cover and they had a big gala dinner last night celebrating this event. And it was quite, I think, a proud moment for all of us South Africans to have our own public protector, Tuli yeah. Madonsa, as one of the 100 most influential people in the world. Kudos there. In fact, it was quite a proud moment to see so many Africans represented, a yeah. real sign of the times. Um, and not just in the normal social oh. spheres, but in e economics, in, in areas that make waves in the world. So it's great to see Africans standing up to be counted. Mm. Absolutely. So last night was the gala dinner for Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People. Carrie Underwood performed as well as, well as Pharrell. Uh, Seth Meyers did a stand-up set. And we all know that Beyonce also was on the cover. Some of the other people that also made that list was Miley Cyrus, Pharrell, Serena Williams, as well as North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. But let's look at some of the top African individuals that were there at the gala dinner and who are representing the continent. Of course, we know Tuli Madonsela, our public protector, was mm -hmm. there. And um, uh, the L Lamido S Sanusi, who's the government of the Central Bank of Nigeria, said this of her. He said, to speak about corruption in high places is often subversive and always embarrassing. The machinery of state can be called upon to intimidate or even destroy and eliminate whistleblowers. It therefore requires extraordinary courage and patriotism to do what Tuli Madonsela has done. Here Man, we go. Love that woman. Love yeah. her so much. I think if she were to stand for president, I'd vote for her. I'm yeah. just saying. Just putting it out there. Putting it out um, there. Aliko <laughs> uh, Dengote is also one uh, person that made it onto the list of 100 most influential people in the world. He, of course, is a Nigerian business industrialist. And, and uh, congratulations. Africa's yes. richest man. Africa's richest Yay. man. Congratulations. And then we've got a story that I think stands out for all the right reasons. Ori Okola, she was routinely thrown out of a Kenyan school because her parents couldn't afford the tuition. She she since went on to get a Harvard Law degree, um, various job offers from DC's law firms, um, but she chose to come back to Africa and institute an online service for crowd mapping data, um, and it's ended up being used in the most incredible ways, whether it's um, dealing with corruption in Kenya, survivors of the hurricane in Haiti, um, traffic problems. She has made mm. her mark in the world, so yeah. congratulations. This mm. next person, Bono, said she has made corruption her enemy. We're talking about Ngozi Okonjo Ewayela, and she stood us for two terms as the finance minister of Nigeria. Yeah. So, also awesome. making that list uh, as one of our Africans representing Kenyan writer uh, who came out as, uh, as a gay amidst, uh, gay, uh, amidst anti-gay laws throughout mm. of all of Africa. And this is uh, Binyavanga Wainaina. So congratulations yeah. to him awesome. there. I think, and I think also to, to see a man uh, yeah. like, like him stand up for his rights. I mean, we all know what's going on with gay laws all across the, the world in Russia, in Nigeria. So yeah. I think a, a proud ambassador there. Facing immense prosecution. Mm -hmm. And from the Central African Republic, we know a hotbed of civil unrest, of war. How many millions of lives have been lost there over the last decade? So they need shining lights. Three men standing up. Imam Omar Kobine Layama, the president of the Central African Islamic Community. Diodone Nzapalayinga, um, who is the arch Bishop of Bangui and Nicholas Gura Koyame Gumbangu, who is the president of the Evangelical Alliance, sending a message there of unity within wow. faith, and that is a beautiful thing. Yeah. Also, Sister Rosemary Nyarumbe, who is running a vocational training school in Uganda for young women and children affected by conflict. So doing good work there, really good work. Yeah. And also, I mean, uh, making that or rounding up that list uh, of our top, our top 10 Africans that are in the 100 most influential people in the world is Egypt's former defense minister, Abdel Fattah Saeed Hussein Khalil El Sisi. So I think, uh, yeah, I think it's, it's great to have such African representation Inspiring. in such, yeah. yeah, in such a, a, an influence list. I mean, we're talking about the people that really, as you said, make waves Powerful. all across the world. Yeah. But uh, let's, I mean, musically, Pharrell Williams has had influence all across Ooh. the world, man. And like you said, he was at the gala dinner performing with Carrie Underwood. Let's uh, have a look at how Pharrell's performance went down.